Hello everyone and welcome back to the Roving Clan series. The Draken people are about to win and I really need to kill them. I'm hoping mercenaries can do it because if I can't attack them with the mercenaries, I am done. Like where this game is over because I cannot declare war. So we'll see. I still can't unassign this hero I think for another two turns. Yeah. So let's kind of get this going. After that, I'm going to hire a fourth mercenary for this army, and just hope, beyond hope, that I can... Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so close. I think this is going to be the last episode. I don't think it's going to be able to work. Because they still technically belong to me. The mercenaries, that is. Even if no one knows it. Unassign that hero. Let's grab... I don't know, another demon? Another centaur? Grab another centaur. Bye. I think that's the city I want them in. I think that's the closest one. Yes. I mean, even if this can work, I think it may be still too late. Oh, whoa, 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 We need to turn on that. Privateers. And I don't think I can attack that. I can't attack it! Oh, we're not done yet! If I can destroy them quick enough. That's really silly, though, that it becomes my town because then the player exactly, you know, knows who's killing him. But I guess maybe the AI technically doesn't? Okay, so now we want to head down there. This is funny. It's cool that it works this way. And we're still not even in a war status, right? Yeah. Weird. Let's do new army and we will move them into this. That's really silly though, because it becomes my town. It's like, the whole mercenary thing doesn't really work if... Like, against real players. Um... We'll get the canal system. Build some moon leaf. I don't know. Now I need more mercs. More mercs. I wonder if it would work if we were in peace. Era 4. By taking the city, you got what you wanted. Maybe it's time to think about... Oh, no, no, So they know... Yeah, they definitely know it's me. Okay. So wait, does that work with normal units? I thought we couldn't attack the city in a Cold War status. Alright, we located some new stuff. Located some new luxury resources. This ardent mage who I've had for a while and yet my quest still isn't complete, I guess is ready to upgrade.
Hmm. Yeah, let me see if one of our non-mercenary armies can attack them. I just... That seems odd, because that's... Not what the Cold War status says, right? A player's army can roam freely in the region with, of other empires with whom players at Cold War. Um... The owner of the region can attack armies coming inside his region without declaring war. At the end of the period, empires can attack each other's armies within neutral regions and third-party empires without declaring war. But it doesn't say that you can attack someone's region, like their cities, in Cold War. I think you have to do that at war. What's also weird is that we're not automatically put in a war status, but yet the computer knows that it's me killing him. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hey now. Get that population up. Oh, because they're in a rebellion status. Okay. You know, it makes sense. They don't like their new conquerors. That's fine. You don't have to like me. You just have to serve. Oh, the city is small. Why would you put it? Okay, hold on. We we need to find a new place. Oh, I can't do it yet. Maybe because we're in rebellion. The option to lift the city up, I can't. I don't have it. We have to definitely lift that city up. I don't have enough movement to attack, so let's wait till next turn. Oh, right. Yeah, the research. Duh. Okay. Brigade system, plus 20% uh, defense on units, plus 2 army unit slots on empire. Uh, let's do that, since we're conquering right now. After unlocking this technology, ruins that have already been explored. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. The permits proposal of an alliance treaty when in a Cold War status. Uh... Plus three industry per person on city. Yep, yep. Okay. Is there anything else I can improve mercenaries? Specifically? I mean, I know our faction gets the trait that improves mercenaries. Is it like their hit points? Mercenary comforts. Times two life on mercenaries and plus one movement on mercenaries. Yeah. So that's pretty ridiculously crazy. Look at that life! I didn't even look! I didn't even look before, because yeah, they were at like 190 or something. Yeah, 190 or something. Oh my gosh. Like, how does the AI stop that? Their life is insane! Oh, wow. I didn't even really think about it. Before. I was like, man, these guys are expensive. Well, there's a reason. Because they cannot be stopped. Wow. Wow. Um, I don't know. Build a central market, I guess. Wow. With anomalies? Dust orchid deposit oh my gosh look at that that is pretty crazy pretty crazy then we'll build this here and then we'll build an expansion and um oh i don't know keep expanding this way i guess for right now
No! Population one! Stop being in rebellion. I'm a nice leader. Taking candy from a baby. Make sure this place doesn't starve. Oh, I've been forgetting to move my dredges, haven't I? Whoops. I'm really hoping it's only working because these guys are privateers. And, like, I, I'm not allowed to just walk around and kill everybody. Okay, so now... That's their only city left. Wow. They have no... After all this time, they have no armies. Bad for them. <gasps> no! It's still starving? You guys are at plus 13! Alright, look. Look, there we go. Alright, I'll transfer everybody into food. Be happy. Be fed. Quest complete, power and prestige. Level up any district or state center in Renar. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, only the mercenaries can because they're privateer mode. Okay, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that's why, but I've needed to see. It's still pretty ridiculous. So I need to kill them before they win the game. And we apparently have an empire plan up. So we want this. What the heck? How are they starving? Even with that, like they sh the, the 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 total. Hmm. How are you starving? See, we need to chase down these dragon armies. Oh, a dragon army. Hello, city. Like, really, this is what I could probably do for the rest of the game, is just conquer by mercenaries. The Empire is my friend, too. I hope you'll treat them in a better way than you treated me. What? Attack? Oh, wait, is it because... Oh, well, oops. Okay, well, whatever. Ah! I have four movement points, but no action points, I guess? Alright, well, we'll just lay siege then. And let's go grab another mercenary. The centaurs seem to be doing pretty good. They have high movement and everything. So we'll buy you. Stick you into Dells. Okay. Like, this is really all we gotta do.
There we go. Oh <gasps> no! They expanded. Oh no! They got those two islands over there. <gasps> I didn't know. I don't have sea travel. I don't think. Shipyard? No, that's not what I need. I need. No cargo docks. Wait, can I travel on sea? Already. Unlock ships travel on water. Okay, that needs to happen right now. Dang it. They still live? This cannot be. Wow, is everybody in rebellion? What the heck? Because of all the cities we conquered? Come on, people, it's all happiness here. I'm a good leader. How many turns we got? Three? Let's bump that up. We'll force our new slave populations into labor. Research labor. Whatever. Oh, that's not slave population. That's... I'll say you're okay. Alright, so now we got two turns. I really still don't understand how this is going on. Modifiers is minus 55. But the total, this should still represent even the numbers being affected by this, right? From Rebellion, minus 74. But we should still be in the positives. What the f is going on? I don't know, but the dragons still have two cities that I need to destroy. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take so long to get over there. As we were doing these two. Ah, oh, it's gonna take so long. Too long. I don't know which one of these I want. I guess that. Um. Let's have you guys garrison in that city. Let's get another mercenary centaur. In Dells. Move, you centaurs, move! Let's 
to the glory of the Empire. Oh my god, no! They're gonna they're gonna win! They're gonna win! I'm not gonna be able to destroy the last two cities. Even though I control like half the world by myself. No! No! <laughs> no! Just don't do any diplomacy. No one do diplomacy with these guys. Don't let them win. I'm so close to stopping them. Why do they have to build out here? They knew treachery was afoot. This is all I care about right now. Let's attack this city. Then we gotta go north. We still have another city after this. Oh, you sons of... Oh. Oh. God. That game was mine. Those mercenaries are OP with that times two life stuff. Dang it. Dang it. Well, Draken. GG, you dirty punks. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it, I guess. I, these endings are really just anticlimactic. It's just like, haha, win! That's it. Maybe they'll change closer to the final release. Maybe you'll get like a cinematic or something. Um, but. Alright, I guess that's gonna do it for the Roving Clans. I went after the mercenaries too late. I was not paying attention to the diplomatic victory and how close the dragons were. Oh. I mean, but on the other hand, if I had killed them, then it would just been me steamrolling the other races with mercenaries. Like, it, there probably really wasn't much left to this. Like, it was really passive, and that was on hard. So I guess I need to up the difficulty more if I play this again. Oh, well. Uh, so thanks for watching the Roaming Clans. I will see you all next time in another series, in another time, in another place. Take care.